Hello! Today I'm going to be telling you how to create a cute, decorated, nice little dorm room for a cheap or at least, you know, like, not that expensive price. Which can be difficult, as I'm sure you know if you've ever tried to decorate an entire room all at once, buying everything for it at one time, it adds up real quick. And you see all those cute little Pinterest dorms that have like so many decorations in them and they're just like so nicely styled and they are so cute and you want that for your dorm, but you realize you kind of either don't know how to do that or you don't know how to do that at a cheap price. Well, I'm going to be telling you how to accomplish a cute Pinterest style dorm room and not break the bank. So let's just go into it. First and foremost, DIYs are your friend. You can search DIY into the Pinterest bar and get so many results. You can search DIY into the YouTube search bar and you will get so many results. Ah! Which is a good thing if you are on a budget. You don't have to be super artistic in order to be able to create cool DIY art or just little DIY things or even just to repurpose stuff. You can buy cheaper furniture and just like spray paint it or paint it and make it look nicer than it is. You can make canvas art. You can find millions of things on Pinterest and YouTube on how to do canvas art that's not that complicated and you don't have to be an artist to do. There are literally so many things that you can do that you can get stuff for a pretty cheap price and make it into something really really cool that normally if you were to go to like Urban Outfitters or something and try to buy it it would be much pricier than it is to do on your own. My next tip is stick to wall decor more so than trinkets and such. Your walls are going to be really bare and a lot of times they're going to be these big ugly cinder block walls that are painted white or cream or just are generally ugly. Which is fine if you want to look like you're living in a jail cell. But if you don't, you can put up wall art and it makes it look so much cuter and nicer. And also, like I mentioned in one of my last videos about how to make a dorm room look bigger than it is, if you put wall art higher up on the walls, it makes your dorm look bigger too. The reason I say this as avoiding trinkets and stuff is because trinkets take up extra space that you don't need and they collect dust and they don't usually serve a function. So they're sort of just taking up space and they're extra money. So if you just skip out on buying any trinkets, save that money and put that into wall art instead. Saves you money, saves you space, and it looks nice. Make sure it look bigger. For wall art, you can do anything from tapestries. That's really big right now. A lot of people do tapestries and they're super cute and they can take up a lot of space. So you don't have to worry about like highly decorating one area. Just put a tapestry up there and it looks really nice. You do canvases, you could do photographs or anything in a frame. You can do posters, cute clocks, literally anything that you can hang up on your walls is good. I hung up four different things in my room that I DIY'd all four of them. I did two canvas things where I just painted on a canvas with a little quote. I did one thing with a picture frame where I bought a black picture frame from the Dollar Tree for a dollar and then I painted it white. Then I printed off the state of Tennessee, cut it out, painted it blue, put glitter on it, and cut out a little star and a little heart in gold. Taped that where I live and then where I moved to to go to school. Then just drew little squiggly dots to connect the two. And then I took a cork board with a frame, painted the frame, painted a sort of an ombre effect on the cork board, and then put a bunch of pictures pictures back from home on that. Next is probably the biggest thing and that is your bed. Your bed is the prime real estate of your room. It is the biggest thing in there and it's what people are going to be drawn to first when they see your dorm room. So you have to utilize it. How I decorated my dorm room last year was I picked my comforter first, then I went with those colors and just that style and that's how I decided how I was going to decorate the rest of my room. You can get relatively well-priced duvets or comforters at I think Walmart is where I've gotten both of mine. I got them, I want to say for like $25, $30. I know you can go on Walmart's website and get a good comforter from between between 25 to 50 bucks. I recommend avoiding white simply because it gets dirty super quickly, super easily. It can stain and once something stains it looks obviously less nice and then less nice makes it look cheaper and you're trying to avoid a cheap look but you want a cheap price. I just recommend avoiding it. I know white is a very popular color now especially if you want to go for a more modern aesthetic but it gets really dirty so if you do want to use white as your color I recommend not getting a white comforter or duvet at least. Don't do white with your bedding. Stick with it maybe in other aspects of your room if you're gonna go for white at all. Throw pillows are a great addition as well to your bed. You can use them for accent colors or just to match your bed, whatever you want to do. I got mine at TJ Maxx for I think $11, $12 for both of them, which isn't really that bad if you want to try TJ Maxx for your throw pillows or Walmart or Target or anywhere like that. Also, you can buy pillow cases, like just 
throw pillowcases online or maybe in stores, but I have seen a lot online. I actually did that, and then you can buy a plain throw pillow to go inside of them. Or you can do what I did and sort of cheat the system because I didn't want to pay for a throw pillow because I had extra just like blankets that I didn't need to use. So I sort of stuffed those into the pillowcases and it worked. The one that I used in my freshman dorm that says she leaves a little sparkle everywhere she goes, that was just a pillowcase that I got online. I don't remember the website, but I will put it on the screen right here of what website I used for that. It was two bucks and I also bought another one. It looks like a, this one is a little flatter than the other one, but it's a blanket in here. This is, this is not a pillow. This is a blanket. So you could go that way. That's pretty cheap and that's a good way to get some throw pillows for your bed. The next thing to do is to hang up lights. That reminded me of that Australian thing. You know how if you say like raise up lights really fast, it sounds like you're saying razor blades, not like with an Australian accent. Raise up lights. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Anyway, getting things like fairy lights will enhance your room a lot. You're not probably going to have great lighting in your dorm room anyway, but just stringing lights up on the walls are really nice. They add a lot to the room and they don't cost that much. These I got at Ross for $5. They're really nice. It's 10 feet of 30 LED lights. So if you look at places like Ross, a lot of times they do have those types of lights available there. You can also check on Amazon if you want to, or you could not go with fairy lights and you could go with Christmas lights, which is like the lights I have hanging up behind me, those purple ones. You can get different colors of those um, on Amazon, I know for sure, and I think on Walmart's website as well, and they're not that expensive. In my dorm last year, I just had one set of lights hanging up and I still liked how that looks, but if you wanna go for a more Pinterest-y look, you'll probably want to hang out more than just one string. The last thing I recommend buying is a rug. They add a lot to a room, especially because most college dorms have like really ugly floors. Mine had this weird like tan and dark colored tile, like fake tile, it wasn't even real. It was really gross and ugly. Just even a nice little one that you can buy at Target or Bed Bath & Beyond for a relatively good price. I think it adds to the room a lot, especially because you don't really think about doing a whole lot to the floors usually because they're just floors, but putting a rug down can add a little, a little something extra, a little something spicy. To make sure your bedroom is really cute and coherent, I recommend having a color scheme. Most people probably already know this or do this, but just to make sure you have one or two colors that you are sticking with, maybe have an extra pop of a color somewhere, but you really just want to stick with a certain scheme, whether that be black and white or like white and gray with um, a pop of color, which a lot of people do now, such as blue or pink or something. I did sort of a teal seafoam green type color and a light pink as mine. And I based that off of the comforter that I bought from Walmart and that's how I picked my colors and my accessories for my entire room. Best stores to get good prices on these types of things. Ross and Walmart are my top two for that kind of stuff. Walmart's website is more what I would stick to as opposed to Walmart, like going to Walmart because I hate Walmart and they have more on their website. But Ross is good. You sort of have to go in store with Ross because the stuff that they have varies so you can't just shop off of their website. I don't even know if you can shop on Ross's website. TJ Maxx and Target are also two places that are very great that I got things last semester but they are a bit more expensive than Walmart and Ross. So if you wanna go with a little more pricey, those two are good and also still pretty cheap. And then for online websites, the two I recommend are Amazon and eBay. And that is it for my tips on how to have a cute dorm at a relatively low price tag. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, give it a like, give it a comment. If you would like, if you have any questions or you just want to leave a comment, you can also subscribe to me. I put out new videos every single Friday, most of them college related, but not always. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.